Um, here's a good question I had during the week, okay? Uh, one of my followers hit me up. He was like, hey, man, I love to see your dogs. I see your dogs are uh, really high drive, but they don't go after each other when they're playing, right? When they're, when they're playing tug of war, when they're running to get the rope or running to get the tires. So he asked me why, right? Why or, or, or how is it that my dogs play that hard? Go after all that, all, all the stuff I give them, and they don't go after each other, okay? My dogs are not dominant whatsoever. My dogs on a lead don't want to sniff other dogs. They, they, I mean, they don't, I mean, they kind of don't want other dogs to sniff them. It's kind of a bad, that's a bad thing, but um, they don't sniff other dogs. They don't want to meet other dogs. Um, but the dominance thing, the dominance thing is really the main thing and the reason why they're not dominant is because they have nothing to be dominant over okay when i feed my dogs my dogs innately understand that the food does not belong to them because when i put the food down they don't automatically eat i don't have to tell them to wait anymore because they know just because it's on the ground does not mean it's theirs right same thing with toys just because, just because the toy is on the ground does not mean a toy belongs to them. Now, if your dog has no problem with taking the back seat to you and, and knowing that you're the person that's supposed to be dominant over those things, there will never be a problem with your dog letting somebody else get a little taste of fun or a little taste of the shoe, of the boot, whatever, right? So it's all about behavior. Now, how do you change behavior, right? If I had a dog that was nippy, right? If I had a dog that was nippy, and every time someone, every time a dog, you know, went to get their, you know, uh, um, tire that was in their mouth, they would want to bite or they want to want to, you know, snap, right? One, first off, I wouldn't let that dog play for a while until I felt like it was time to train her. Right? If he, if he did it during the playtime, I'd literally put that dog on like timeout, dog timeout, and send that dog away. Basically, you gotta change behavior. You gotta change behavior for your dog. Now, the reason that your dog's acting that way is one, if your dog's dominant over anything, that dog has way too much say in what that dog does on a, on a daily basis. Right? And we're, and I'm, I'm not talking about locking your dog up. What I'm talking about is simple things dogs not allowed on beds dogs not allowed walking through outside doors without giving the okay to go go ahead dogs allowed to chew on toys that when that when it's not playtime right uh and that's what i mean when you're when it's too much like you're given you're given too much of that you know free time for them you know what i mean so what do you do you change it you change and it's really not changing his behavior, guys. You're changing your behavior. Rem remind yourselves this, if your dog's a certain way, and I'm trying to tell you guys on here that ask me questions, your dog is that way because of you. Because either your lack of training or lack of understanding on how to train for that specific thing out, or how you have been acting towards the dog to allow that specific thing to start. So it is all on you guys, 100%. When you own a dog, I mean, honestly, I have dogs. I have, I have one, my, one dog, literally, I think would have been like a fighting dog had I not got a hold of her. <laughs> right? Um, she's mean as hell. She, she likes to bite. She likes to, she likes to fight. Uh, she, when she gets, when like, when dogs are chasing after something she's chasing after, she likes to, to nip, right? And that's why before she's about to nip, I correct her. I can't correct her with a hand, but it's just a, it's just a, um, you know, a sound, right? Everything you do before you you put your dog on a leash, you got to make sure that your dog is calm. And everything you do after that, you have to make sure your dog is calm. So what does that mean? Before your dog gets to go outside, 
sit your dog down, make sure your dog calms down. Before you get to go in the garage, you get to go to, you're about to go to, on a walk or you're about to go to a dog show. Before you get on the car, in the car, you make sure your dog is calm. When you get, when you get him out of the car, or, you, or you know, when you get him out of the crate, make sure your dog is calm. So a lot of times, guys, it, it, it really can be corrected by just fucking waiting the extra two minutes. I've sat there for five minutes before, you know, for, for one of my dogs to calm down, right? And I just sat there and stared at them and just waited, just waited. And finally, when they calm down, their, their ears go back and they're focused on me, then we can continue on what we're doing. But a lot of you guys are impatient.